Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tia at B5 Designs and I just wanted to share a really super quick and easy project share. I have never um, made wands or medallions or whatever you want to call them myself. So, well, I did a long time ago, but they were like super sized as Christmas ornaments and I got so tired of doing them that I quit doing them. But I just wanted to show you something very simple um, that I did. And I only have one that's completed, but I'm going to show you. Um, what I did was I had some, excuse my arm, um, that I bought that, like, I had, I think there was um, this one. And this one and there was three that say love and three that say uh, hello and they were gold and then I had just one red one left over like this and then I have let's see this pink one and I got these on Clarence um, the pink ones and the red one I picked up these two are stuck together at, in a pack, a four pack, or no, I think it was a six pack. Well, it doesn't matter. At uh, Michael's in the gold pack, I believe, shoot, I picked up at, um, here's another little pink one, I picked up at, what's that other store? Hobby Lobby and then I had been gifted some and I wanted to make some wands I don't tend to do flip bags or one of those uh, other little books that people make flip books maybe yeah flip books I don't tend to do flip books or flip bags but I do like the charms and someone had sent me this and it are wands and it was just the single just just the medallion and so what I did was I had these um, paper straws I don't know where I got them from but I'm gonna say target they're really thick and sturdy and so I just squished the end and put it into um, here, like you can see it on this one I should have cut it down if you cut it down like cut it in half just to here then it slides right under the um, the uh, paper that's kind of covering it that you know you hold it together with but what I'll do is cut this down but anyway I also was gifted this one from someone just the medallion Anyway, so I didn't want to drag my hot glue gun out, so I used uh, glossy accents, and I just put it, you know, in the slot here. You have to be careful not to put too much in because it will soften, like the gold paper um, on this one. It softened it and kind of made it want to tear. Um, and then I put some on the side of the straw and just let them set and I, I don't know I went and took a shower or something and by the time I got done they were dry so what I decided to do was I'm just gonna keep them the way they are until I decide what I'm going to put them with so like this one I probably won't change anything but I'll add some ribbon maybe some eyelash trim um, but I, I didn't have gold straws, but I figured since it has silver on it, I would do a silver straw. And I'll have to cut the straw length down a little bit, too. And then here's, I think, another one that says hello. And I thought those would be cute to stick in with um, pocket letters. And then this one I did silver on because I had silver straws. And I thought that was cute. Um, here's one that I'll use 
probably in a Valentine pocket litter, but I used a black and white straw and I think I got those in a grab bag or something at Michael's. And then here's a gold one and this one's kind of wonky so I don't know if I'll use it because this is where it kind of I was messing with it and I noticed that the gold paper got kind of soft and here's that red one and I just used a red straw and I have I think I have red and white striped straws too and then here is another love with I don't know if I showed the black and white stripe and then the pink ones, I happen to have these, and I think I got these from Dollar Tree. And see, now what I will probably do, because I'm doing something with unicorns, is I'll probably, and I, ideally I think you should do this before you do any other gluing, because I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm doing something with a unicorn, so I'll probably pop this off and put like a unicorn or maybe a flower. I have to look and see what I have because I have tons of, of charms and stuff like that. And then um, maybe put some eyelash trim and then you, you can hang, you know, ribbon down from it too. And then here's another plain pink one. Okay, so with this one, what I did was Okay, so somebody gifted this to me, just the medallion part. And then I added the straw with the hearts on it. I thought that would be okay because you could see the hearts in the back. And then I took a punch and I just used this um, paper because I had it. And I thought, well, it's red and white hearts. Why not? And I just, this punch, I'm not sure if it says what size it is on here. Two inch? No. What size do you think that is? Two inch? Okay. My husband says it's a two inch punch. So I took this two inch punch, punched out the red paper, and then I took some of this. I don't really know if this is called eyelash trim or not. It's just something that I had in my stash and it has like, it's very glittery or I don't know, maybe more iridescent is the better word. And I just used my snail tape and went around the, the outside of the circle and then I put this down on top of the paper and then I put more snail tape. You might want to use to secure it better, you might want to use like double-sided tape or hot glue, and voila, I have a cute little charm. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna stick that in a pocket letter. And you, I have all sorts of ribbon, and you can use dangle charms for the bot from the bottom of this. I know there's a ton of videos out about these and tutorials, but maybe you know there's some beginners watching my channel. Um, you know, that don't know where to start. I don't like um, messing with the uh, scoring it every quarter inch or whatever. I'm kind of a lazy crafter that way. So I have this one, and this is exactly how I received it, like this. And then I added the red... Um, straw to it and then I am going to add and I should have waited I'll have to get a smaller punch out or you could even trace something like a lid to something like I don't know maybe this little cork lid would work whatever um, and then I'm gonna put some silver or what the, I have this white string I have silver with gold I guess it's gold I thought it was silver Okay, it's silver with gold trim, white with gold trim, and like a gold with, well, I don't know, bronze with gold trim. So I might have to get some different. And then just hang it, tie it, hang it down. And then when I go to put the back on before I secure it, I will put some of this really fuzzy um, trim on it. 
So that is my plan for that. I just thought I'd show it really quick because I was sitting here thinking this was really easy if you buy them, you know, made or you're gifted them um, in a swap or something. It's just a really cute way to utilize some of the things that you get. And then, like, I received this paper clip and it was in the same swap. And so she at the gal also sent me these two and I'm sorry I don't remember the name because it's from last year. And so I think I'm gonna make paper clips out of these as well. And then I'll use this. This I'll use on a gift bag or something probably. So that's it guys. Just a little I don't know crafty thinking idea. So thanks for stopping by and I will see you later in the week. Bye.